Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, we're gonna cover my country number 32 to visit every single country in the world and that country is Peru. Ever since I was a kid, Peru has always been one of those countries that I've always wanted to go to because when I was in grade six, I studied Peru as part of social studies. So I got a good idea of what Peru was like but I wanted to see it in person. There's something magical about it when you learn it as a kid and you get to go there yourself when you become an adult. My journey to Peru started in Copacabana in Bolivia, crossing over to the Peru side of Lake Titicaca. Now, when we cross over to the Peru side of Lake Titicaca, there was actually a blackout and we all had to stand in line at the border until the power came back on so that they can stamp us in into Peru. The bus ride from the border all the way to Cusco was a very long one. As a matter of fact, we actually slept on the bus. We went with a company called Bolivia Hop, which is also the same as Peru Hop, and this company is so good. By the time our bus actually got to Cusco, they even gave us all a complimentary taxi ride to our hotels. Talk about amazing service. I highly recommend the Peru Hop or Bolivia Hop company if you're taking a bus between Bolivia and Peru. Now the bad thing about traveling in Peru is that if you want to see Machu Picchu, it's super expensive. I'll give you an example. Our ticket price to get in Machu Picchu was about $65 Canadian. If we wanted to take a round trip train from Cusco all the way to Aguas Caliente, where the starting point is for Machu Picchu, then it's going to be about $250 Canadian round trip. Now when you actually get to Aguas Caliente, then you have to take a bus to the top of Machu Picchu and that round trip bus ride costs about $35 Canadian. So it really adds up and it's not a cheap travel destination. I understand why they're doing it because they want a more sustainable tourism and the more people that can't afford it, the less people will go there and they can protect the environment. With that being said, it's definitely not cheap and you definitely want to save money before going to Peru to see Machu Picchu. Now, of course, Machu Picchu was awesome. We did some hiking in Machu Picchu, took a lot of awesome pictures. It's one of my bucket list destinations, so I absolutely love our time in Machu Picchu. Well, here we are, guys. Here it is. So me and Karen just made it to Machu Picchu. Si. So since we uh, started dating, we have always wanted to go here. Yes. And now that we uh, learned some Still strategies to, uh, yeah, it's been four years and after four years we finally made it. Yep. Yeah, we even wrote it in this uh, little journal book that like one of our goals was to... Uh, our goal setting sessions. Yeah, was to make it to Machu Picchu and now we're here. So we're just uh, climbing up right now. 
and I will get a better view of Machu Picchu in a bit. Now on Sungate. We actually met a guy there that looks and sounds exactly like Seth Rogen. So my sister took a picture with him, just like he, she took a picture with a guy that looks like Kim Jong-un when we were in Bolivia. So it's actually quite fun to go to travel to Peru. You'll also notice that when you go to Peru, everyone is in Peru because Peru is one of those countries that everyone goes to to see Machu Picchu. As a result, Peru is one of those countries where you go there and you are trying to practice your Spanish. It turns out everyone can speak English, so there's no point. Now the bad thing that happened in our trip though was that on our way back from Machu Picchu back to Cusco, there was a landslide where the train is and the train couldn't go. All the tourists were stranded in the train station and it took several hours before the train could get started moving again. My sisters actually felt bad for one of these Peruvian guys working in the train station and he looks like he was so exhausted. So my sisters gave him some food to eat and he was so happy to receive that food. And I think a little bit of kindness goes a long way when you travel. We had booked a trip to Rainbow Mountain the next day, but because of what happened, our trip has been canceled and we had to get a refund the next day. Thankfully, they were able to refund us and just deduct the credit card fee that we had to pay for the trip to Rainbow Mountain. Now, I was a little bit upset that we didn't get to go to Rainbow Mountain, but there's always time in the future to go back there again. Before long, my sisters left Peru and it was just me and Karen left and we spent one full day just exploring Cusco just by ourselves before wrapping it up to get ready to go to our next destination in South America, which is Ecuador. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And don't forget to sign up to our Travel and Live Free newsletter where you can get a 10 step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, on how to go on around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for that newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.